boogie. It keeps moving every time I stop playing the game. I think it resets them together. Because that's not me doing that. That's the game itself. Still not done, eh? Plus, I just like the idea of the sprinklers so that, uh, you know, everything's good. Oh, wait, these are done. That cauliflower going. That'll hopefully be done tomorrow. I've only got 15 out of 50 items uh, donated. And then the lab should open at 9, because most things seem to open at 9 here. Uh, so we'll pop over there right away just to see what's going on. How's this doing? Almost done. Okay. Oh, we even got a silver one. Cool. And then we'll hit up the blacksmith as well today. want that carrot done. All right, and then let's see here. We'll actually check for once in our lives. Uh, let's see, the lab is here. Oh, it opens at eight. So actually, it'll be open by the time we get there. Yeah, I'm like really into this game. Like I don't, uh, like I love farm sim games, but this one's like really got me. I'm like right into it. Usually with early access games, you know, I play them a time or two and then I like leave it alone. But uh, this one, I'm like right into it. Hey, Rocket, uh, it's actually really good. Like I'm liking it. Um, It's super du duper early access. So like only the first year is done and there's like stuff missing. Like I've ran into like one of the festivals. I couldn't actually do it, stuff like that. But like even for the fact that it's this early, there's still like way more to do than most of these kinds of games so i'm right into it it's kind of like a good mix of like harvest moon and the way stardew valley did it i'm like right into it oh Wobia, welcome to the lab i've been expecting you yeah, let's find out what this is all about of course i already know everything that happened while you were diving you were able to activate the solar orb she was spying on me with the robot saw everything yeah, see? Saw everything unfold from Kibble's point of view. I'm glad the ocean finally found... Finally find someone worthy. More importantly, I do owe you an explanation. Yeah, you do. No, we can't do that, I don't think. What game does that? Did I miss something in one of the old Harvest Moon games? Please follow me into my secret lair and I'll explain things to you. Like one of the previous Harvest Moon games. Uh, where to start? Well, many years ago, I planted super corals, just like the one here all around Coral Island. They've been specifically bred to survive rising ocean temperatures and hostile environments. The room we're in also holds er, Murph ancient technology that can remove those stubborn oil-covered roots and heal sick coral. We dealing with Atlantean technology or something now? What you saw in the ocean, how should I put it? At its most basic, we take a little bit of what makes a super coral healthy and share it with all the other sick corals so they can get better. Huh. By combining human science, a little bit of magic, and the ancient technology, the ocean can recover. I knew there was magic. I knew it was magic and like ancient tech. It's a lot to take in and I'm sure you still have questions, but that's all I can share. The rest you'll need to discover on your own. What kind of scientist are you? As promised, the diving suit is yours to keep. Hmm, just one more thing before I let you go. 
I want you to know that although you've been deemed worthy, you aren't the only one out there who that is worthy. Oh, thanks for telling me I'm not special. Hopefully that didn't come across the wrong way, but I don't want you to feel like this is your fate and you can't escape. There's nothing worse than- okay, well she's being cool. Thanks again for stopping by, Warbeard. Yeah, 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 but you said you could upgrade my- oh yeah, I need to wait for the, like, super special stuff to go. Is that here? Let's see. Oh, I need a lot of that stuff. Increases the chance to yield higher quality crops. Oh, these are like general seed upgrades too. Plant, fruit tree. That's cool. I'm into that. Ba, ba, ba. Oh yeah, and then we were going to go to the blacksmith, get these treasure chests looked at. And then we'll focus up on catching some stupid bees. Yeah, I gotta remember to dig through everybody's garbage. I figured out too, like, according to other people's playthroughs of Brave Fencer Musashi, I'm like 40 minutes from the end of it, so. That's why I really want to make sure I sit down, get back used to the controls, and we can finally finish that game. Let's get these going. Crash. That's the first time I've gotten nothing good. Oh, there we go. Ancient compass. See ya. I finally got to finish my... Uh, <laughs> I've had a decoration that I've needed for one of my Switch Axe sets for a while, but I had to get up to... Uh, well, I had to get one of my Anomaly Investigations up to level 101 before I could do it. Uh, so I finally accomplished that last night, so I actually have a Switch Axe set for each element yet. And I've been enjoying Switch Axe. It's uh, been a nice little change from uh, Gunland, so... It's been fun, but I got to work on a lot of my sets. The only sets that I've really updated for title update two is my. Um... Fuck, I can't think today. Sorry. For title update two is my. Uh... Actually, the switch axe sets and I think the uh, some of the greatsword sets. So I got to get to work on that. Oh, that goes there. Goes there. I can't move that when I'm in a chest or it'll pop around. All right, let's see if we can catch some bees and we'll pick some wildflowers and stuff. So give me an opportunity to explore some of the back areas of the island. What's this hoe? Oh, it. Okay. Shit. He's going to run. What? What? I feel like I'm just bad at catching bugs. Okay, I've stopped moving, but it's still... Hmm. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Why is this bush moving? Oh, it's a bug. All right, we caught a red admiral. I got a bug. I haven't seen any bees yet. Let's see if I can find these bees. I can't go in there yet. There's a chest in there, though, too. Just one sec. too. I have a chill day. We've been kind of rushing around trying to accomplish specific things. 
do want to get these bees, though, but I haven't seen a single bee, so I don't know. Uh, I don't want to look things up. I just want to find it naturally. Whoa, this thing is, like, struggling. Oh, an angelfish. There we go. That's something new. Yeah, I still don't know what triggers that. It's very confusing to me. I imagine that's axe level two. I could probably break that and go through there. Wait, what is he selling? Of course. I should try planting some of these mixed seeds too to see what I Yeah, I still don't know what the cause is for that. It seems some bugs I can run right up on them, other bugs I can't. But maybe it's based on level instead of, like, an actual skill. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it's not a matter of, like, oh, I need to sneak up on them. It's a matter of, like, you know, a very specific way of doing things. Let's see. Yeah, like, not doing anything, and it runs away. So it must be, it, maybe it's a level up thing, because there are skills to make them not notice you. So maybe it's that kind of situation. Hopefully I can get bees at this point then. I haven't seen one yet. Throw a line into this river and see what we get. Something else I gotta get around to is, uh, I feel like I should play more of that, uh, strange horticulture game. Uh, cause one, I really liked it. It was a really cool game. Uh, but two, I've had a lot of people watching, uh, the uploads of that on, uh, YouTube. So I feel like I should get further into it for, uh, you know, one for my own satisfaction and two, so that there's more of that for people to watch. Man, every time I fish in a river, it's a stupid shrimp. It's 5.40. Good source of compost. Right, so now we're down in kind of the cherry blossom park area. Hmm. Also, I haven't seen any wildflowers today. Ah! I think I already caught him. don't think I caught a firefly. Hmm. I'll pop over to the uh, cherry blossom area. We still got a decent amount of time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot there. I haven't really covered this half of the map a lot. It's been kind of more on the... Uh, Northwest and kind of western areas. I want to say I'm surprised Pufferfish moved in, but I'm not. Life is unfair sometimes. You don't have to let them move in, man. Have a vote.
Oh, it is closed off when there's not a thing going on. Festival use only, huh? That's interesting. I did not know that. Ooh. Please, no more shrimp. You're going, buddy. It's a damn shrimp. Let's see, anyway. Damn, local produce. I shipped a little bit today. There's 20 more coral sites for this quest. We can turn in the angelfish, the red admiral, everything else I think we've already done. Yeah. All right. We'll shift these guys down just so I remember to ship them. I wonder if I just really need to hover in the uh, the woods more already 8 p.m. It's getting late. Although I can see why people might want to turn down the, uh, the clock. The time does go by quick. I think it's like 20 minutes a day. Something like that. If you run through a full 24 hours in this game on uh, normal speed, which isn't bad. Like, it's a uh, you know, good for progression and that, but I guess if you're really, really focused on something and you have the energy. Because at this point, I feel like I should just head back to the farm and use up all of this energy. Popping down some trees and stuff like that. In fact, that's what I am going to do. We're going to clear a bit more of this area off. We'll kind of come out from here. Yeah, we'll use this as a baseline and I'll kind of come across this way. Or... Better yet, let's clear a path down to the south. Uh, we'll use up our energy towards that if we have any extra energy at the end of a given day. Better hurry, though, because I am running low on time. for now and then we'll eat these i might just do like a random plant for that kind of stuff because you never do know all right we've only got an hour so let's see all right we're in the straight line for that now so we'll just kind of work our way through this I would not mind some clear pathways through this area. Plus, I think the more I do this stuff, I'll get some more perks and upgrades and stuff like that, which is always a worthwhile endeavor. Evidently, looking at the big map did not center me properly at all. <laughs> okay, I better get home. All right. Now that I know I got this dash, I can move around a bit quicker. 
And that carrot should be open tomorrow, so that should fill in the second bundle. Uh, so that'll be great there. We'll see what we get for that. And then I'm going to actually try watching these TV shows, because I heard they actually get you some good stuff. All right, so cauliflower. Not bad. That's 135 per. And it's actually a good upgrade for the, uh, the silver in that, too. Fish. Shrimp haven't been worth that much, but it is basically low energy free stuff. All right, let's check this out. How to be a farmer. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith, and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got some tips for you, Sprout. Let me tell you about them. Now, Sprout, by the way, that's what I call my grandchildren. <laughs> If you don't like it, send me a letter. I just think of you all as my grandchildren, too. Anyway, back to business. You don't need a refrigerator for produce. What you need is a nice, sturdy chest. Build a chest and it'll keep your produce fresh all year round. And don't forget a scarecrow. It'll protect your crops from, well, crows. Damn it, Jeff, I already knew all that. Ooh, coral shopping. I didn't know there was a shopping channel. Grill. What is a home without a grill? Get yours now and start enjoying grilled corn, fish, tempa, and much more. Available now at Socket and Pan for 3000 See, fruit. An expensive barbecue. All right. Perfect. Okay, so we will go get that bundle turned in. Let's water this stuff real quick, and then we'll head on out. Maybe we'll get something for having all the in-season stuff finished. Because I know there'll be a base prize for it, but I don't know. Maybe there's a bonus. Can I do three full crops with this watering can? Yep, yeah, okay. That's not bad. All right, let's grab out our turnip, and we'll put away this other stuff that we don't need right now. All right, let's go see the goddess. I have brought you everything you want. Who sugar cane? Okay. All right, ocean scavengeables. I haven't gotten any of that except for almost that. But I haven't seen any of these other things. Complete all to unlock a greenhouse. Oh, that's cool. Definitely want to focus on that for the year. Green plant in spring grows in five days. Cool. Now I'm wondering. Oh, we have a spot down in the lookout too we can teleport to now. Cool. I wonder what I did to open that up. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to pop by uh, Sam's. I'm going to stop by the museum, and then we're going to pop by Sam's. Because I want to see if that, in general, unlocked sugar cane, if I just got some sugar cane. Because uh, if it unlocked it for purchase, too, that's going to be super useful. Get this compass. go yeah so you can actually look at these unravel the locked passage donate splendor yet to be displayed it's a little cryptic actually <laughs> i'm not sure what that means it's probably something to do with the mine uh because there's definitely more than one way to go through the mine 
Let's see what Sam's saying. Cucumbers. No, I'm not seeing them. Soybean, though. Planet Spring grows in seven days and produces every four days. Oh, okay, so that's a repeatable crop. Yeah, but how much time is left? Hold on a sec. I just want to see how long this month is. Usually they're 30 days, but you never know. So, if I planted soybeans today, they'd be ready there, and then what? One, two, three, four. We'd get two... We would get two harvests out of it. Would we, though? Yeah, even even if I'm off by a day, we would get it there. Okay. I'll run a gamble on it. Okay. There's a nine days. Yeah, we'll have to leave that off. So these are 150 for 10. We'll grab that. Oh, did I sell them back? Wait, let's see. Oh, okay, so you can get your money back. I was worried that once you click on it, you're kind of stuck with it. Uh, cucumber seeds, that's fine. It's regular quality. Yeah, I'm not worried about anything else. We'll, we'll, we'll take her slack. And what I'll do is I'll throw the uh, fertilizer I got on those two. But we'll try to get some extra kind of use out of them. And then we're going to clear a bit more of the field today. Like I said, I'm going to clear both of those pathways to get out. And then go from there with it. Then I think what we'll do is we have eight sugar canes. Is we'll just plant them four and four in here. Those should be here. Yeah. Gets to grow better quality saw if mixed with soil. we buy that barbecue maybe it's sold at that uh, furniture store that joko told us about at the beginning of the game and i think the turnips will be done tomorrow if not very soon all right board it Let's clear this off better. So we'll start down by that exit and we'll just work our way straight up as best we can. And then maybe we'll hit up the mine or something after that. Like the next day kind of thing. This is good anyway, because doing this kind of activity is also going to be good for uh, leveling up our abilities. So we'll do that. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just do a straight line up here. There we go. 
And that way we know where we're coming from and where we're going. Which I imagine wood and stone and that's going to be needed a lot more as I start progressing more, so might as well get some work done. Although I do want to spread out to the left too, because I'm eventually going to want to start uh, getting some animals and stuff like that. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop by the carpenters. Uh, if I have time. And we're just going to check and see what the next upgrades would cost and like what we need for materials, because I might as well start saving towards it. The duck's got a hat and he's being friends with it. This is a carpenter's house. Yes, it is. Oh. Water source silo for storing hay. See, I don't have any food for animals yet, so I don't want to start it yet. I want to actually have food for them, so I gotta figure out uh, what kind of food is for them. And the house upgrade stage two haven't even seen silver yet, so we definitely can't do that yet. Okay, and there's at least four upgrades for the house. What else do you have here? Ah, oh, cool. I could have a fish. I feel like I don't need that yet. All right. All right, now since bug catching is really cheap, we'll see if we can find some bugs out in the woods here. Let's head over actually to the giant's uh, house and we'll see if maybe there's any bugs over there. White moth, you're mine. Smoth. I know what he's talking about, local. Well, I guess maybe they're growing their own food. But, like, everybody seems to have, like, a nice garden on the go. Like, a lot of the houses do. Although, you know what? If I, uh, lived somewhere where it was feasible, I would. What? It was green. I honestly do feel like I'm overcomplicating the bug catching and it's like not even like a thing. It's just get near it, hit the button. Oh, shit. Andy Treacy. Well, that helps. There we go. I'm not going to use them all up, but there we go. Now we can keep going for a little bit longer today. And what do I need to do this one? Way will open when at least two giants are freed. Okay. Actually, you know what? I always saw a lot of wildflowers in that little area down by the beach. So let's head there. And I'll clear this out tomorrow. Inexcusable to have such a dirty pathway.
There's just so many options to do. That's kind of the problem I'm running into is like, do I want to fish? Do I want to catch bugs? Do I want to like upgrade this or that? What are these? A bird feeder. There we go. Now we got some wildflowers. And I got a coconut. Snail's ridiculous. Got he. A snail. Wait, some scallop. Damn treasure coffer. Oh, my inventory's full. Shoot. Go donate this stuff. Oh, there's kelp down here, too. Okay, I definitely got to check out the beach at some point. All right, let's go donate these new animals and then we'll drop off. I think I also just need to, like, blitz saving up the money and upgrading my bags because, man, do I always feel like I don't have enough space. I guess I could have a chest on the farm that's just for the... Yeah, but I always end up needing the scythe or something. Like, that's the problem. All of the tools are useful everywhere, almost. There we go. soon actually I'm gonna hold on to flowers oh there's not bad a little bit of stamina not much but still better than nothing that does not belong here I don't want to risk selling that. I do kind of want to know if those are like worth a decent amount. Actually, what we'll do is we will keep. Just because there's a lot of them, we'll keep the wildflowers in that last chest for now. And then if I can ever find a dang bee, because I haven't even seen one, let alone failed to catch one. Uh, we can catch a bee. Foundation, maybe you can build something here. Maybe that's where the greenhouse will go. I wonder if I can attract bees by planting uh, wildflowers. Maybe if I plant some more daffodils and stuff like that. Because I haven't actually seen one out in the wild, but it might also be like a time of day thing. tomorrow what we'll do too is i'm just gonna plow like a big area 
and plant all of these wild seeds. Uh, like right off the hop in the morning. We'll just plant them all, see what we end up getting out of them. Because I have a ton of them now and, you know, might as well see what we get. If you meet, reach the mine with ease, then reach the bottom of the earth. Okay. So if I can get to the bottom of the earth mine, that'll unlock the shortcut to get to the cavern. Which will definitely be worthwhile because it actually takes a while to get over here. I'm going to pull back the camera a bit, too. Run, buddy, run. Really got to learn to start heading home at like 11. There we go. We're good. Oh, I got to kill him. Oh, well, that's definitely worth shaking the coconut trees. I'll have to keep an eye out for them now. All right, we'll shake those coconuts. Oh, I know where that is. That's up where that old man's always hanging out. All right. How to be a farmer. Chapter two with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got some tips for you. Sprouts, let me tell you about them. Now, OK, I'm skipping if he's just going to say the same thing each day. There we go. Oh, that's the same thing. Lame. Action and music bring these five girls together, but can they overcome the harsh world of sea pop? Hello, producers. I'll be a representative in this show. Welcome to Coral Stars. They five girls will start their fight in the world of sea pop. They will start their voice lessons, memorize choreography, and give their all in stages, prepared to test their result practices. However, your participation will also be essential in realizing the dreams of these hopeful idols. Now, without further ado, Coral Stars, please introduce yourselves. Not super. I'm going to skip through this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sorry, I don't care. Uh, I don't care about a fake reality TV show. I don't care about a real reality TV show, for that matter. Okay. Up this way. We got 16 of those. Greetings, Warbeard. I'm pleased to announce that Starlet Town has gained an E rank. It's not quite close yet to our previous rank, but I believe we can get there by doing our best to maintain this town we call home. Due to the rank increase, distributors who left us are slowly returning. Now you can get fruit seeds from Sam, duck and goat from Jack. Cool, I can get goats. That's awesome. Sorry, I really like goats. From Jack and a whole new categories of clothing and furniture from White Flamingo Boutique. Also, Jocko got enough materials to build a silo to restore your coop and barn, so check them out. I would like to thank you for helping us in making this happen. I hope you continue supporting us in returning this town to its former glory. I'll do it, especially if I get cool stuff out of it. All right. You know what game I always really like? The I haven't played a lot of them, but I played like a bit of it is uh the one rune like you know in Rune Factory when you like harvest crops and like they all stack up. I always thought that was really cute. Might have to check out these fruit trees. Water these plants that we do have. And then we will go see Sam. Uh, and see what he's got, and then we'll check out the hot spring, because that uh, that was over by the hot spring where the old man was hanging out. So something definitely happened over there. There we go. Sell off all of our turnips. There we go. And 
then let's let's actually do this. So we'll just set up like a rough plot down here. So we'll give it like a single space. I'm not going to worry about crows. Uh, because, you know, we just got these seeds from foraging, so I'm not, like, super concerned. Can I drag them? No, you can't. You gotta click individually. There you go, and Sam's will be open when we get there. more types of monsters that's the recycling dash monster bin but there's uh so far not really a lot of need for it okay let's see i definitely got to check out these fruit trees because that is part of the quest for the local produce is growing some better quality uh what don't tell me they're closed today what day is it wednesday close on wednesday damn it sam Where's the hot springs? We'll head up there. Cycling center. Actually, we'll hit the... Is this it here? Yeah, there he is. All right, we'll hit the blacksmith and then we'll swing right over to the uh, hot springs. See what's going on. There's a wildflower there too. I'm going to grab that over over here. Wednesday's a random day to be closed. Oh, well. Process it for me, my friend. What do we get? A blue artifact and a second blue artifact. And I do need to stop by... Uh, we'll stop by Pufferfish, because I think maybe Karen's one of the missing people we haven't talked to yet, because she does live here. I think. I think she counts as a residence, anyway. Alright, that should be down around here. Also, there's just like a full basketball court, or a half court, I guess. Oh, it's part of the school. are this is what we saw in our dream are you here to enjoy the spring blooms oh this is the observatory can we go in the hot springs Oh, we can. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so that's energy recovery. That was definitely worthwhile then. I wonder if that's a side effect to completing that, um, like, goddess quest thing. Also, there's just a panda here, like, playing a music fife. Or smoking. I think those are music notes. Alright, well, I'll just chill out here for a second and get all my energy back. That's useful. I don't need all my energy. It's slow, but until I can automate things more, you can kind of blow all of your energy in the morning 
you know, planting, watering, whatever, pop in there for a bit in the afternoon, and then you're good to go for the rest of the day. All right, let's go. Three. Oh, you're the, oh, there we go. Somebody we didn't know. Oh, you're the new farmer. I was worried there for a bit about a potential competitor. Nothing to worry about, it seems. You're a bitch. Fuck you. And Brie. You're named after the most delicious of cheese, but you've got a sour personality. Whatever, you want to run a winery? That's boring. Probably really interesting, but... I'd rather run a farm that can grow anything. Now my like entire goal in this game is to grow the best crops and destroy them and drive them out of business, if possible. Actually, you know what we should do is talk to the animal person and we'll see. What? Did I get that from a garbage can? I haven't turned that in yet. Okay. Well, we'll go take that over later. Good. And then I'll just hold on to this fish. And we'll take him later on. And then I'm going to finish this little path down here. Or actually, just in case they close early, we'll go talk to the animal guy and then we'll clear these last two paths out. Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place today. I can't really decide what I want to get done. There's a peacock? Tell me they're closed. Oh, there we go. All right. So hey, milk pail, milk. Hey, is thirty bucks. No chicken lives in the coop. Will lay eggs when properly cared for. A chicklet. They're only three hundred, so I could just raise it myself. Can't produce milk yet, and I could have a horse. I definitely want to get some chickens going. Hmm. But it hasn't told me what I need. Animal feed in general, I guess. There's goats. All right, anyway, we'll focus up. I'm going to clear those paths, and then we will... Maybe I'll buy some hay seeds and see how that works out. So I'm going to need a silo in that. I'm just hoping that the chickens actually use uh, the hay, but I always thought, you know, it'd be like corn or like chicken feed, but that didn't seem to be an option. And what I'll do eventually, too, is I'll have a section where I, like, replant these trees. Because that'll be an important uh, thing, I imagine, to actually re- Because I don't think they just randomly, unless it drops one. Uh, so that way I can kind of intervene on my own and have a section for them. 
cool. we'll make that a priority too at some point. I'll just make sure I hold on to any acorns or maple keys or anything. Pine cones. I think you can plant the pine cones too. Sam let me down when I could finally like go buy some new stuff from him. Doesn't he know the month is almost done? I don't have a lot of time, man. I gotta get some new crops in, maximize my money before the next season. And like I said, I wasn't, I'm not planning to stream too long today. I just wanted to play a bit more of the game. Uh, so I might do like another day or two in the game and then call her for today. There we go. Now we got a nice straight path all the way up. And we'll clear out a little bit of the path up here that we can. There's literally trees growing on my garden path. I guess I wouldn't like really have to restart my save file when they add more stuff in. Uh, as long as it doesn't like interfere. Like if it's just like, oh, the next time the year comes around, you can do it. Because uh, I'm not too worried about that kind of stuff. But who knows? Maybe when 1.0 comes out, depending on how invested I am, I'll restart it all over again. Who knows? There we go. Getting low. Oof. And I don't think I should. <laughs> uh, I don't remember if it's four or more. I'm not going to risk it. I'll chop that like tiny log up tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not going to risk knocking myself out and then having a day go to waste. Okay. Put stone and coal away. At least we got tons of resources sitting around, which is useful. Because, yeah, with all the seeds I have, like, what? We got acorns, we got pine cones, we got maple keys. Like, I can plant a good, what? 16 trees right off of that. 2050 so we'll swing by the museum real quick drop off this fish and then we'll hit the hay for tonight then we'll go see sam tomorrow and find out about these damn fruit trees that was not good timing Almost halfway there for that. I'll start talking to people when I see them. Did you know I was just about to write a piece on harms of oil drilling companies? And now one appeared right in our homes. That sucks. I like how pufferfish like looks like they're trying like super hard to look like they're environmentally friendly too. And it's like, eh, you're not. You're a hundred percent not. That's good. Oh, I could move that, but again, I don't want to accidentally knock myself unconscious. So we'll wait until tomorrow. I'm wondering if the TV only changes once a day. I'm going to check the TV. Oh, I just got a bunch more stuff. A makeshift arch, floor tiles, hydro, and a mason jar. All right, let's check that out. Hydro. Jeez. Oh. 
Oh, okay. So that's the thing I can mix with the soil so that I maybe don't have to water it the next day. It's made out of rocks? Interesting. Speeds it up. Don't have that. It's nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot we got the kill now. This process is wood into charcoal, scrap into glass, and sand into glass. All right. Definitely want to build that. Oh, yeah, and the compost bin. Maybe we'll get these machines set up uh, today, then. Makeshift arch. I'll worry about beautifying my uh, farm a little later. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, he's saying the same thing every day. All right, maybe it changes once a week. We'll check it again. Uh, we'll check it again next week and see if he says something new. Looks like you're ready for this now. This here is a basic sprinkler. Place it on the field and it'll water some of your crops. The best part, you can craft as many of these as you'd like, provided you have the materials. Jeff Smith from the Farmer's Guild. Do they just give me one for free? Cool. Oh, they don't they don't cover as much spot as I thought they did. Hmm. Trying to think of the most useful way to use these. Cause it's like a standard harvest moon plot, so it's like a a three by three. Interesting. All right, well, I don't need to use it right now, but that's something to think about. I'll have to sit down and actually see how I would balance that with the uh, the other things. Pop that up there for now. Don't really have any need for it at the moment. And then we'll go see what uh, Sam's saying about these... Uh, Fruit trees. I wonder what these will all end up being. I kind of like it. It's like a mystery. But most farming games have like mystery wild seeds, so it's not really anything I haven't seen before, but. Everybody likes a surprise. Okay. I do want to take a look at this one more time. So, what would be a good way to lay this out? If we did that and then had one here, one here. Hmm. If I lined up some scarecrows, I would just have to lay it out in a specific way to make it useful. Yeah, it's weird. There's like an overlap that it like isn't quite great. Hmm. Oh, well. like I said, I'll uh, I'll look into those a little bit and see if I can figure out kind of a good way to lay everything out with them. Let's go see these fruit trees. I still haven't seen a bee. Maybe they don't come till summertime. Maybe that's why I haven't seen them. And we can afford another point here, so. Do that. Foraging. No, we'll do this, because then I can move quicker. I swear they nerfed that. I thought that was 15% last time I looked at it. Maybe it was always 10, though. Maybe it was. See, increased chance to harvest double kelp. Uh, that's only 2%. I definitely want that. 40% chance for more kelp, because kelp seems to be proving quite useful. All right, Sam, now that you're actually at work, let's see what you got. Oh, 
What? There's no fruit trees here. Why do they lie to me? Maybe they're out of season. As soon as I get home, I realize I forgot to buy something. Pretty annoying if you ask me. That's why you gotta make a list. I don't have any free samples. Ah, oh, she's being rude. We don't do that here, sorry. Man. I gotta work on my relationships with the town people. They're all like kinda dicks. I haven't seen many pufferfish employees around. They like to keep to themselves. Oh yeah, we'll check out pufferfish too while we're out today. Charles has to take his antihistamine. I don't know what else to tell him. It will literally make him feel better. Oh, this is new. There we go. Closed. <laughs> and I get a hairstyle that looks more like my hairstyle. Let's see. Not really. Oh, you can just kind of rebuild your character whenever you feel like it. Yeah, these are literally just the starting options. I'm sure they'll add more as the game gets developed, though. Like I said, the roadmap, like... <laughs> You gotta keep in mind, too, like, a lot of developers put out roadmaps and then don't do half of them. Although these guys so far, based on what I've seen, have been very upfront and, like, showing off, you know, what exactly they're doing in that. So, oh yeah, what do I do to get this? So, I have faith that this will, uh, turn out fully. Quickly reach this. Build the market with local joy. Okay, so I gotta get that local market stuff done. Oh, there we go, socket and pan. Need a bigger house. Luke. So, Pufferfish Corp was the one who bought the building. Honestly, with the state of our town now, it's just a matter of time. Luke. Oh. So I gotta get house upgrade two done before I can do that. Maybe we'll do that um throughout summertime though, because for now, gotta make sure I have the money to like get the seeds in, right? What are you guys selling? Beautiful garden stuff. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, there's a spooky tree. Did I have a skeleton? Preview coming soon. Does that mean I can't buy it? I'm not going to try to buy it. I don't want to spend any money yet. Oh, never mind. There's the, uh, the spooky well. They're expensive. Oh, it's a candy bush. It's expensive at the furniture store, though. I don't have that kind of scratch. Oh, uh, let's see. Ling's Mansion. Charles's House. Clinic. I was sure it said that he had fruit trees, but he doesn't have anything new. Oh, that is the greenhouse area. Okay. All right, well, let's stop by the uh, Pufferfish building. Because I really think we only have like one or so people left to me. Let's see here. Yeah, literally one person. Maybe it's Karen. But I don't think I actually like talked to her outside of the story talking to her. So let's see. Here. Maybe it's this person. Raina. Good day. How may I help you? It was Reyna. It wasn't Reyna. Is she in this list, though? I have no idea. There's just like a mysterious town folk then. Would you look at who's here, if not the farmer? What can I do for you? Fuck all. Peace out, pufferfish.
Hmm. I don't see anybody I haven't met. Yeah, there's nobody in there. I'm just double checking one final time and then you know what? I'll run into them eventually. Because there's also like a lot of areas that are covered up by like trees and stuff like that that I can't go to yet. And like this area here, which is covered up by that big rock. Yeah, I guess not. All right. That's a fly. Another wildflower. It's peanut. Third area. Huh. I got some good shots of the pufferfish meeting. That was intense. I thought everyone was going to erupt or something. Kind of scary, actually. Yeah, nobody's big on that. Here, do you want a wildflower? Oh, would you look at that? Thank you. Very non-committal. I think that's what it's meant to be. It's like neutral, but still. The flamingo place isn't open. I don't know how to get Sam. I gotta grow some more flowers. So let's see anyway. We have 10 days left in the season. days that's not worthwhile five days i think the potatoes had actually the cauliflower had a really good yield so maybe what we'll do what do we have 30 slots just cauliflower it up because i actually got like a decent bit of money out of that so that's what we'll do we'll plant a whack ton of cauliflower uh because then when we hit uh springtime or sorry summertime uh, we'll have a bunch of money ready to go <laughs> keep getting fish out of the garbage <laughs> Like, here you go, museum. I found this fish in the garbage. Yeah, they'll take it. Museum's desperate. There we go. Let's go plant our uh, cauliflower. Near what I'll do. I'm going to double check my mailbox. Maybe it's one of those like stupid things that happened to me last time. No. But. Now you can get fruits. Maybe it's because it's not summertime. Maybe fruit seeds aren't even available until summer. I just happen to get the rank up. Maybe that's what it is. All right, so we'll leave it alone. No biggie. And then I'm just going to real quick. What does it take to make fertilizer? Two compost and a sap. Two compost, so I would need 60. Do I have 60 compost? I do not. All right, so we're just going to plant these as is, then. I'm not going to worry about it.
Though I saw, I looked up like the uh, the original Kickstarter for this game because I completely missed it. I only found out about this game recently. Uh, it was just from a, like a random YouTube recommendation popped up and I was like, that looks fun. Because uh, it was like somebody who... I apologize, I'm really bad with names. I think it was a YouTube channel called Play With Josh. I'll find out and I'll make sure I say it on the next thing, even though... That person's audience is 8 billion times bigger than mine, but even still. It's good to shout out when, uh, you know, the people who actually showed you something interesting. It's good to give credit where it's due. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so that kind of came up randomly on my uh, YouTube feed because I was looking up trailers for the, uh, the you know, the Harvest Moon uh, uh, remake that they're doing on the Switch there. And then this game came up and I was like, that looks fucking fun, so... Uh, he was showing it off a little bit. I'm just going to clear out an area because I do think I am going to want to start. Maybe we'll kind of work in some animals and stuff like that over here. And then I think we'll start heading down into the mine tomorrow. And maybe we'll make that the last day for this stream. I'm trying now in, uh, like, Monster Hunter, I've been trying to get, like, uh, because the way that you can get higher rank versions of lower A rank, or, anyway, it's a Monster Hunter thing, but anyway, they have A ranks for the different monsters in the game right now. Uh, for the Anomaly quests, which is what the end game stuff is called now. And with those A ranks, there's, like, Anomaly Investigations, but if you say do the standard A like A rank quest, it'll only give you an anomaly investigation that's around the level of the monster. So for example, like an A1, you might get a level six quest. But the problem is like the quest that I should be doing should be in like the level 100 to 105 range. So what I found out, because I looked into it, because I'm like, there's gotta be an easier way than just doing the same quest and leveling it up like super slowly. And it's basically, say I do an A6 quest, I have a chance to get an A5 quest that's the same level. And then I can tear them down that way until I get down to possibly getting like level 100 of the A1 quests in that. Because uh, they all drop different materials based on what level they are. So it's like worthwhile having all the different uh, quests leveled up. So it's like a whole thing. Monster Hunter's Endgame can be... Very grindy sometimes, but the cool thing about those games is like I've never felt pressure to do their end games. It's like, yeah, you can if you want or you can just hunt monsters and have fun with it. You really don't have to, you know, shoehorn yourself into a specific play style. I see I broke rocks. There we go. Yep. Yep. Or Okay, that's all good. 1930. Let's take another spin through the woods and see if maybe we can see a bee. I really don't want to look stuff up, but this game has so much going on that I feel like maybe I should look stuff up. And then we'll start heading home at 2200 hours. Oh, damn wasp. I would like your friendlier cousin, Wasp. So I want to know what all these monkeys are doing out here. Actually, this is probably also based around my tools, so... We'll definitely take a trip down to the mine and see if we can get down to, like, floor 15 or 20. a wasp again. <gasps> okay, we good. We're just gonna go to bed. At least dashing doesn't, like, use up my energy. Actually, realistic. Can I eat a coconut? I don't think I have that. 
All right, there we go. Now we're catching damn bugs. You know what? We'll drop this boy off at the museum. Then we'll hit the hay, water our plants, head down to the mine, have an adventure down there tomorrow, see what we can find. This also might be a game that I just stream randomly whenever the mood strikes to play it. Like, instead of being like, oh, we're going to play it on this day, it might just be like, you know, you'll get a notification like, Warbeard streaming and it's Coral Island again. Because, uh, like you guys said, for next week, I really want to get back to the, uh, the games we were playing through before I took a break. Because, one, I've never beaten Brave Fencer Musashi, and I'm so close to the end, so I want to see the end. And I've had a big craving uh, to play through Chrono Cross. So I'm really excited to get back to that. Because uh, then once we're done that, uh, I've been really, really excited to replay Skies of Arcadia. Because I haven't played that since it originally came out on the Dreamcast. Uh, and we're going to be playing that right off of the Dreamcast original hardware using a SCART cable that I ordered and... Um... Uh, the Retro Tank 5X Pro. I wonder if I can, like, plant a coconut tree. You know what? I will keep these, because you never know. Cooking ingredients and all that, right? Okay, I think we'll do one more day. You notice it always looks like it's raining when I come in here? I think that's a glitch. There we go. It was wasps. I was going to say, I haven't caught a bee. Well, anyway, we got bee houses. Fuck yeah. Watch, it's like you need all those wasps I just sold. Is it? Do I need to sell it? Oh, thank God. But we need bronze ore, so it's a good thing we're going to the mines today. Bug catching, 5% less aware. Cool. All right, well, that really worked out. And then, okay, we'll water the plants. We're going to drop off all the tools that are not useful. Uh, we'll hit the hot springs. Make sure we have full energy, and then we are living in the mine for the rest of today. And then I think that's where we'll call her. It is good that I'm playing this on stream mainly. That's kind of like what I've said to myself as I'm like, I'm going to keep this as a streaming game uh, because otherwise I would just sit on it for like hours and not get anything done during the day because like these kind of games like really capture my attention, like especially when there's this many things I can work on. I just get right into them. Depending on the bee, how the bee house works, I imagine maybe it'll be a good idea for me to start growing some flowers. Uh, but we'll find that out. Actually, I'll just check the menu now. What? Frick. All right, and then we'll drop off everything that we don't need for the mine. Just have an empty inventory. And is there anywhere closer yet? No. We'll just walk to the hot springs. And then I think what we'll start working towards um, once I'm down and like after I'm done with the mines and that is I think we're going to start working towards up this way. getting the second house upgrade. Uh, because once we have the second house upgrade, uh, that's when we can start cooking. So now that I know that, that's definitely something I want to work towards. Because uh, I do want to find out as well uh, how the animals work. So I might actually read up on that just to make sure. Because, like, you know, I don't want to buy chickens in a coop. And then it's like, oh, you can't, you know, do anything with it, essentially, because you don't have any food for it. Uh, so that, you know what, I'll look that up. I'm not going to look up crop values or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of 
plant what catches my eye and kind of see where we go from there. I like that we got this though. This is rad. I'm gonna have to go back and check the first session of this game because I'm wondering if maybe I have been slowly getting more. I don't know. I swear I only had 400 energy at the beginning of the game. So maybe it is slowly boosting. Get out! Losing daylight. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Oh, I was stuck. stuck on things. I gotta be careful. I don't care about you, bug. I was after the beehive. I lied. He's just hovering out here waiting for artifacts to come out. Maybe the giants are trapped down here. Because there's like those statues of them looking scared. So maybe that's part of it, too. Let's head down. Get some more bronze so we can get these beehives going. Bronze. Except there's spiders all over it. Shit. I don't care about you. Oh my god. Listen, I'm here. Monsters are so damn aggressive. I gotta fight. I keep forgetting they don't get blocked by... Shit. I keep forgetting they don't get blocked by the ore. I do, though. I got some kind of potion. That's not fair. Fuck off. I don't like the slimes at all. The spiders aren't bad, but the slimes are annoying because they throw things at you. There we go. What is this? Monster Essence. It's got a bottle of souls. Double ore. Oh, I should have brought that candy with me. Oh, well. Nobody's perfect. Just gotta keep advancing on them. I do wish I knew what the bar on the bottom was. It fills up as I fill them. I think it's a stagger meter. Yeah, it's definitely a stagger. They get knocked back whenever. Okay. Not turn on need torch. Oh, okay, so you can actually light this uh these areas up. I don't think I even have a recipe to make a torch yet.
I don't think the little explosion hurts me. It doesn't seem to anyway. I wonder if there's bosses and stuff. I know combat is still being revamped in this game. Um, at least that's what the developers were saying. So. So if it's still being developed, maybe there are going to be bosses and stuff like that as you go down the mines. I really don't think that hurts me. Oh, there's like no bronze down here at all. Oh well. I'm gonna start mining in this part. Because I feel like if the door's gonna be... There we go. <laughs> I'm getting really lucky with the doors. Okay, where are we? 14? Alright, so we might get another floor down today. A lot of monsters. I guess the other thing is, like, I can save inventory space by not bringing the sword with me everywhere. Like, I only need it down here. Okay, let's go nuts. I'm gonna mine in the bigger area here. Yeah, those hot springs definitely instantly made the game a lot easier to navigate because then you can get your farming stuff done, regenerate your energy, and tour out and do something else for the afternoon. There we go. I wanted to get at least five more floors deep. Perfect. going for the bronze so that's what i'm here for i do want to upgrade my tools but i also really feel like honey might be worth a decent amount so plus i just like the idea of having some beehives it's like a big thing around where i live like in ontario and that now is you see a lot of uh random houses especially like in the rural areas that have beehives in that now which is good to see It's got, like... See, Stardew Valley, I never got, like, crazy, crazy into. I just really liked what Concerned Ape was doing, so I bought it, like, a number of times, but... So far, like, the aesthetic's really nice. Like, the way it looks, I really like the villagers. Uh, it plays really well. Like, I like the way everything's laid out. It's got, like, diving and stuff like that. And eh, mining's always kind of blech in these games. But... Like I said, you also got to keep in mind, like, it's crazy. Like, it's very early access. Like, I think the early access only just came out. Um, I'll show before I end the stream, because I'm going to end the stream at the end of today. Uh, they have, like, a roadmap for, like, what they're planning to add. So I can kind of show you kind of where they're going with that. Because the weird thing is I can't find the roadmap anywhere but in the game's menu. But I'm liking it. I'm not saying it's better or worse than Stardew. It's just like, you know, a different flavor. Uh, and so far, I'm enjoying this flavor. It's been really cool. Uh, but the the diving is really neat. Oh, same here. Like, that's like those games. One of the main reasons I like Monster Hunter is just because I like crafting in that. Flipping ground anomaly investigations up to over a hundred just because I wanted to craft a switch axe set. Uh, but anyway, we'll head back home. What was I going to say? 
But so far, I'll show you when I get back to my farm. They have like I I keep unlocking like new machines and things like that. Oh, cool. So they have like the bundle stuff like Stardew does. So they've added a lot of stuff that Stardew has. They added a lot of stuff that like old school Harvest Moon had, which I like. Uh, so they have like the different bundles and stuff like that, like Stardew does, which gives you different machines and upgrades and things like that. They also have diving, which I can't do because it's too late at night. Uh, but you can go diving and actually clean up the coral reef in that and you get crafting materials and stuff like that from that. Uh, so kind of a different flavor from the mining. The fishing mini game's pretty fun so far. Uh, but so far, like, I have a recycling machine to turn trash into scrap. I can smelt stuff. And then I can turn kelp into, uh, like, kelp essence. And then for crafting, so far, I can make, you know, scarecrow, the normal stuff, sprinklers, things like that. I have a kiln that I can make now bee houses so that i can actually like make honey so they have all the different like i guess in harvest moon they're called like well i guess it's story of seasons now but they have all the different like maker machines and stuff like that that you can use and then there's also like the uh furniture in that but when i was looking at it in terms of the journal and that like tons and tons of different produce tons of things to catch and collect which i'm all about that kind of stuff Oh, that would be awesome. It would just be, I don't know, like, because I heard Rune Factory 5 wasn't great. But I haven't played it personally, so I'm not going to judge it. But, so, I don't know. This has been a really fun option so far, and I've been really enjoying it. So, I think I am going to continue to stream it. Not like a ton, but like every now and again. Fishing rod. Damn it. Okay, and then I'm going to sleep, and then we will. I'll show you kind of the roadmap thingy that they were doing. Because I'm not good at describing things. I always forget things. A ball of goop. That's cool. Oh, yeah, and it's got individual um, uh, leveling systems in it. So it's also got the mastery so as you level up the different things that you do like for example sake with farming i have like a five percent chance for double crops ten percent chance to grow faster actually twenty percent chance now because i've doubled up on that and then now chance to strike twice ten percent for more damage five percent well i'm not saving now anyway so it's fine pop it aside Okay, so I got cabbage and turnips out of all those, like, magic seeds. All right, so we'll return to the title screen, and then I'll show you the roadmap thing. Yeah, it might be one to, like, wait out to and kind of see as it progresses. I haven't yet. It's on my wish list, so that one I'm definitely thinking about. But So they're taking a lot of the feedback and implementing that into the game. They're going to fix up the quality of life, clothing and decor... More festivals, add in the extra romance options for the NPCs. They are changing the combat system because right now, as you saw, it's pretty bland, not great yet. Adding in the pet stuff, extra heart levels. That's what I've heard so far, so that's why I've been kind of waiting out on that one because I was like, ah, I got enough, like, crafting and farming games and stuff like that. So I was like, whatever. Plus, I just got my time at Sandrock, so I've been playing that a little bit, too. Uh, but yeah, so like they're adding all kinds of stuff. Like they're going to be adding in like merfolk, more diving options. Lots more festivals. Uh, the end game stuff, so fire gate mining. Because there's a whole bunch of different like mining systems that you can go through. That I'm not in yet, but yeah. They've got like a decent, like well laid out roadmap that they're showing off. So I don't know. I'm into it so far. I think they're... Uh, I think they're on to something. It definitely feels really good playing it, and the game's aesthetically pleasing too, so yeah, I'm into it. But anyway, one sec here. I was only planning to play till the end of that day just because I want to 
chill out for a bit tonight. It's uh, about 9.30 here, so I don't want to stay up too, too late streaming. I usually, you know, be considerate, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, like I said, next week, the going plan, as long as I have time to sit down and remind myself uh, kind of where I was and how to play it, we're going to finish off Brave Fencer Musashi next week. We're going to pick back up on Chrono Cross, get that rolling again. I don't really need to practice at that. I know how to play it. I just got to... I'm going to watch like the tail end of my last stream of it just to remember where I left off. Uh, we're going to pick back up with some Monster Hunter on Wednesday, I believe. So Sunbreak. Uh, not sure what I'm going to be doing in that. Probably doing investigations or whatever. Doesn't matter. Just going to play some Monster Hunter. And then Thursday from now on is just going to be open game. Monday and Tuesday are going to be focused. Wednesday is going to be Monster Hunter. Thursday is just going to be a wild card, so it might be just any random thing. It doesn't really matter to me. It might be a third day of whatever game we're focused on on the beginning of the week. It might be a second day of Monster Hunter. Who knows? And like I said, I'm probably going to stream this randomly uh, just whenever I feel like playing it because I'm really enjoying it, but I don't want it to take over my channel because honestly, this isn't the kind of game that people initially subscribed that I was playing. Although I've had a lot of people pop in and out on this, so people seem to like it. But the main things was like RPGs, retro games, and uh, Monster Hunter. So I'm going to keep playing those because those are like my bread and butter that I really like to play. This is just something that I really enjoy usually on my free time, but we're going to make this a stream game. But anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for popping in, checking out some Coral Island. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again next time. And uh, hopefully I see you for the, uh, the new stuff for going in as a dad beard <laughs> thank you very much rocket <laughs> all right i'm gonna tour off for now but i really appreciate everybody checking out some coral island and i hope you have a great day bye-bye <laughs>